Welcome to Whiskey Nightcaps, the channel where we do sip before sleep, and I am your host, Jason Davis. And today we are packing up the tents, the trapeze and the clowns, and taking this circus on the road on an epic journey, a journey of epic proportions in search of antique whiskey treasure. You ready? All right, you get your drink because you're gonna be in the back seat of the car. Me, can't drink and drive, pack it up. Put your drink in a sippy cup or something, but borrow your baby's, she's not using it. making our first stop at Antique Depot. This is downtown Ellicott City. Now, close to where I live in, you know, Maryland. Check them out if you get a chance. Let's go inside. Never know when you might need a grappling hook. Wanna try your hand and drink? Drink one of these? They're still full. Oh look, wait, Scarlet. My favorite. Look. Atari games. That's dope. Now how old do you think this probably is? All right, so we left with a few items. Let's go back to the studio and uh, see what we got. Let's do some unveiling for you. <clears throat> All right, my friends, we are back. And we got a couple of things while we were out. Let's take a look at the first item. Vanna, if you don't mind. Look at it, it's beautiful. All right, so we have this uh, water pitcher that I found says Hiram Walker's 10 High, a true bourbon. Now, Hiram Walker, uh, you should be familiar with this name. Uh, this gentleman and his company were distilling whiskey way before the Civil War. Of course, this is not from that era. Uh, they produce such whiskeys as Canadian Club, which I do own. You shut your mouth. Don't you judge me. Now, as far as I know, Tin High is a bottom shelf whiskey, so we will not be looking for that. <laughs> However, I still thought it was a cool piece to have, uh, maybe just for decoration on my desk and or to actually use with water. We'll see, I, you know, I cleaned it out, so it's sanitized. Now, Hiram Walker was later, or Hiram Walker and Sons was later bought by Pernard Ricard, which is a huge, huge, huge uh, spirits company based out of Paris. I'm sure you've heard that name at some point. This is the same company that has Jameson, which I know you've heard of or you own. All right, so let's move on to the second item that I found when I was perusing these aisles, which was this nice little ditty, brown glass bottle, and when I think of brown bottles, whiskey typically is the first thing that comes to mind. However, just looking at the bottle, I wasn't really able to determine who this belonged to. Um, but after getting back home and really actually looking at it with my eyes, I was able to figure out the nature of this bottle. All right, so the most obvious thing when looking at this bottle would have been the label. This would have 
you know, quickly told me what bottle this was. However, you can see it's missing, right? So now we're on a Scooby-Doo mystery and we would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for that dog and those kids. Now it says aged in wood. So that lets me know immediately that this probably was a whiskey, you know? Neutral spirits are typically not aged in wood. They are sometimes, but that's not you know, your, your everyday variety, vodka or gin, those are typically not aged. So I knew this was a whiskey. Now, I could have saved myself a ton of tr time and trouble if I was really examined this bottle, it would have told me exactly what it was. Now, when I got this home, the first thing that I noticed in this embossing, this beautiful embossing, was the flowers, which are also on this side too. Yeah, you can see them in the corners here. And they're not just any kind of flowers, right? They're roses. They're roses. So I was immediately like, okay, this is an antique bottle of Four Roses bourbon, right? Now, something else that I saw was right here across the top, it says USP really was difficult trying to find exactly what that means but I believe it is United States Pharmacopoeia which then also led me to believe that this was prohibition whiskey now when I looked at the cap it has this metal cap uh, this is actually I believe like a shot glass like a, like a shot cup that, you, that comes with the bottle Paul Jones antique actually says four roses right here now this cap is all beat up man it looks like a gremlin was chewing on this joint or something like that and, and, and they have these in better condition if you can find them. Paul Jones Company eventually did uh, acquire Frankfurt Distillery which was one of the only companies that made medicinal whiskey or had a license to produce medicinal whiskey during the Prohibition era, which was 1920 to 1933. So you would go down to the pharmacy with your prescription from the doctor, you get one of these once every 10 days, you use this to take your shot to cure whatever may ail you, whether it's arthritis, cancer, a cold, whatever it was, they didn't have corona back then. Um, and then you felt better. I mean, you were lying, it's just like medicinal marijuana, but hey, who cares? So with that said, this bottle, you know, is at least, at minimum, about 88 years old. You know, let's say if it was made in 1933, it was at least about 88 years old. Nothing on the bottom, uh, and we'll get into that with the other bottles that I have as far as how looking at the bottom of these bottles can tell you exactly uh, who made the bottle, what distillery it came from, who made the glass, what year it was made, and so on and so forth. Take a look at that. All right, so that was pretty fun for me, you know, the, the adventure of actually looking for something and, you know, trying to figure out the history of these bottles. You know, do any of you guys own any antique bottles? You know, let me know which ones you have. Send some pictures or something like that. Let's talk about it, man. This is gonna be a new hobby of mine. I, this, this actually brings me joy. You can't see it, but there's tears. They're just rolling backwards. All right, so make sure you come back here on time. I have a part two to this video because there's another bottle that I found in this antique shop that deserves its own video because it's that much history surrounding one piece of glass. So again, this is whiskey nightcaps. We might not have the same skin folk, but we kin folk and we'll be back, brother. Arr.